but you weren't here so you missed it happy monday i'm not working today so uh, outside of the house let me clarify that so i'm gonna get a lot of stuff done today i hope gotta make another batch of almond butter because the cocoa almond butter totally gone it was a really good batch now i'm hoping this one's gonna be really good too this time i'm not gonna forget i'm gonna put in my little bit of uh salt sea salt and just a pinch <laughs> and I'm gonna get this all done here we go uh. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys the almond butter can you grab the almond butter so I could show everybody how it turned out it came out really good I'm all stuffy right now because I've been cleaning my room all day. They were like... It's dirty. Well, not so much anymore, but... We had furniture... I've like pulled back the furniture and everything. And they were like... It was like you could name the hairballs. But they're gone now. That's the good part. So here's, here's how the almond butter came out. Doesn't that look amazing? This was 100% raw. Which was way easier. I think when it's roasted, the oil isn't as oily. That's, this is just my theory. I could be totally wrong. But um, it's easier for the oil to release when it's raw than it is when it's roasted. So it didn't take as long as uh, putting the cocoa almonds in there the last time. But oh, look at that. Somebody's having scallopini for lunch. <laughs> I've been working so hard. I just talked to Mark too and I showed him. I rearranged my furniture a little bit in my room. And uh, now I have to have a quick lunch. And then I have to go outside and garden. Mm. I'm going to put the new uh, veggie plants in. Well, some of them. Because the ones that I started from seed aren't really ready yet to go outside. So they're going to have to wait a little bit. But the ones that I already bought at the store... If you remember, I got some tomato and uh, some kale. And also, I picked up one of these that I want to put in. I got this the other day and I forgot to show you guys. It's a purple pepper. So I'm excited for that. See, here's the seedling ones. They're not quite ready. These maybe. But these other ones, these over here, not so much. That one is just starting to poke out. This probably needs to be a little bit supported. Um, not, oh, that's a spinach. All right, so I, uh, ooh, it's so nice out here. It's a little breezy, though. But the pool is, uh, turning a different shade of green now. Mark said he was going to put the vacuum in when he gets home from work. So you'll see a big difference after he does the vacuuming. Because if you could see, like, right here, there's, like, a stripe that's a little bit lighter. I could see that, um just from the bottom of the pool so once that's all vacuumed up it's, it's gonna look a lot clearer it's still settling right now from taking the cover off all of the stuff that's suspended Lucy come in uh, from the cover is settling to the bottom so it's gonna be vacuumed up are you coming in or are you staying out come in come on leave the garbage alone that's gonna go out let's go all right stay out then Watch, when you close the door, they want to come in, and then when you open it, they'll come in. <laughs> or not. All right, let's eat. All right. All right, time to do a little planting. Mark and Kristen and Maddie prepared this very well. He's got the landscaping fabric on there so that no, no weeds will grow through. So I guess today I'm just going to plant um, the kale. And the tomato, maybe I'll actually do the cukes too, because I'm not doing them in the ground because we had a beagle, a beagle, a beetle problem with those before. So I'm not going to put those in the ground this year. Because that's heartbreaking <laughs> to have the fruit just die on the vine because the beetles have like sucked the life out of it. Hello, are you here to help? Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> 
hopefully she uh oh i see that there is a section that she can get through so i'm a little nervous about that i might have to try and scare something up so that uh, she can't fit through there because i'd hate to have to do all this work and then have her ruin it can you guys see what they're doing over there flash has a big roll of rawhide that he's chewing and she's trying to wind whinge her way in there so oh look what you got lucy what'd you get what'd you get you want to play you want to go get the ball here you go go bring it back no <laughs> of course not the camera's on all right, here we go. What do you think, Lucy? Did I do a good job? I got a tomato. Uh, get out, get out, get out. You can't have this rock. Uh, the bell pepper, uh, cherry tomato. Over here I have the kale. When the spinach is ready to go in, it's gonna go right here. And then I might have to get something else for in here, although I do have some cilantro and I think a basil, not, yeah, basil plant. And then the cucumbers are upstairs. All right, the cucumbers are up here on the landing because I figured uh, they're in this like decorative cage thing. So they can wrap around here and they can also wrap around and go down the, uh, the stairway. I think that would be pretty. And it would be pretty practical as well. Time to cook dinner again. Oh, seven o'clock. So you know what we haven't had in a while? We haven't had spanakopita balls. And I don't think I've ever made them gluten-free, so this is going to be my first time. And I'm going to make them with spinach. I have two 10-ounce packages of frozen chopped spinach. And instead of the breadcrumbs that I normally uh, use, I'm going to be using this gluten-free home-style stuffing. So it's, it's just the plain seasoned breadcrumb cubes. Bread cubes. So I'm going to let that soak. I didn't drain the spinach too much, so I'm going to let the water kind of soften up the um, bread cubes. And I'm also going to put in two eggs, the um, feta, <laughs> and instead of a uh, regular yellow onion, I'm going to put in a bunch of scallions chopped up, because that's going to give it a lot of nice flavor. Sometimes I really prefer the flavor of scallion over regular onion, because it's milder. And I guess I'm going to throw in a couple of tablespoons of pesto just because all the spices are in there that I want to put in there and it's got a little bit of oil in there as well and garlic so um, and a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese as well so it's gonna be perfect so let me get that all mixed up and then I will show you how it looks in the pan all right there they are they're gonna go into the oven at 375 as I was putting them together in the balls I I squeezed them so that the juice came out. Yes, I know that sounds really bad, but that's what went down. So, anyway, I'm, I wanted to share this with you guys. I was cleaning my room today, and guess what I found? This. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think what had happened was... Sean had printed that out because he really loves Sesame Street, but Sean doesn't understand... That, that it's bad so I think years and years ago I had taken it away from him you know for obvious reasons um, but I found it I didn't want to throw it out in case he had a total meltdown but I showed it to him before and he was like whatever so <laughs> just thought I'd uh, yeah show you that so kind of weird but <sighs> that's what you got to deal with Ah, look who's about to partake in the welcome table. Damn. Not you, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy already ate dinner, so don't feel bad for her. Lucy, you're a bottomless pit. You got a wooden leg? Do you? The yard, she's annoying too. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. She's a baby. Everything in her mouth. Every time you take something out of the pool, she uh, she helps. Yeah. <laughs> she helps. Anyway. Here's how the um, Spanakopita balls turned out, gluten-free. Um, the bread crumby things are a little bit hard, so I, I apologize. You know, the chunks, because it's like, the, I should have soaked them first. But are, are they okay? Crunchy. Oh, do you like crunchy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, we got some five minute fries over here for the people, <laughs> bless you, who don't want mashed potatoes. I do, I do. Sour cream and chive mashed potatoes. And the best part, they were 99 cents, so they taste even better. Some light life chicken patties. These are bomb diggity. Some, bless you, Sean. Poor Shawnee is still sick. I feel so bad for him. Um, Guardian beef patties. Those, the ones over there under the pickles. Lucy, get down. <laughs> Lucy, down. Down. Good girl. All right, so we got some reduced sodium pickles. Ketchup. It's over here. Do you, you don't want the spicy ketchup, no. right? Look, you could use that little bit of ketchup unless you want to go downstairs and get the new one. No? Or you could use spicy. No. <laughs> anyway, it's a veritable feast. And there's the beautiful homemade rolls that I made last night. Mm -hmm. Did you like that? You had one for lunch. Breakfast. For breakfast? Was it delicious? Yep. I had one for breakfast this morning with a Morning Star fake sausage patty. Oh, really? <gasps> it was like heaven. Wow. It was so good, honey. We're going to have to have that on like a Sunday or Saturday or something. So delicious. Well, enjoy. I will. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen again. Maddie was just doing the pajama Charleston. That's right. Actually, right now I'm half business, half pajama. Because we are halfway through the recaps today. <laughs> Come on, let's see a little pajama Charleston. A little. I keep stepping on the carrot stuff. Alright. Charleston, Charleston. Do, 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 do. Charleston, right. pajamas. Okay. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, the shirt is business, the shorts are pajamas. Oh, I thought you forgot your pants. No. <laughs> you gonna take this? Otherwise, I cannot perform the Queen of Bounce smoothie. You already know. Yeah. So like I said, <laughs> we just finished filming the Dancing with the Stars recap. It's rendering right now. And we are about to watch the Bachelorette premiere. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot be optimistic. Mm, we'll see. I need to see Chris Harrison as the next Backler. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. Yeah. Chris, you have one final rose. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I'll give it to myself. <laughs> All right, Big Daddy, get your butt out! Little Squirt, don't disappoint. Little Squirt. You better pull this one off. You only get one shot. I don't think little squirt disappointed. I don't know. I see a chunk in there in the corner. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Oh, no, oh. no. You may as well have taken a dump on the stage. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Break it up, you. Break it up in there. All right. Ooh. We must... We must reprocess. Yeah, I think so. Now magically reblended. Wow. Woo! See what happens when some snot-nosed little squirt thinks they know better than Big Daddy? You mean a young whippersnapper? Yeah. This looks amazing. See, second chances do work out. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Shawnee, too loud, bud. Oh, there is a lot of noise in this house tonight. Yes, there is, and I Look feel like I'm going deaf. Look at that. Whoa, Whoa, hello. That is a beautiful thing. Little assist, but who's counting? I am. Don't you count? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is what I need to get me through the Bachelorette today. Yes. Is there vodka in there? <laughs> Just kidding. I wish. Tequila. Just kidding. Alright. Whoops. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> In Syracuse slash Dunkin' Donuts Orange. <laughs> Great color. Mm hmm. And Burger King. Burger mm -hmm. King Orange. Twin, twin, twin. All right, stop touching the straw. <laughs> I got a lot accomplished today. I'm happy for you and excited. What do you think of my new setup in my room? It's gonna take some getting used to, but I think it could work. Okay, guys, I moved the furniture around. You've never seen it, so you don't really care. <laughs> One day I'll show you when it's finished. But um, mm. if you come to the live show, you can see half my room. That's now, People will be able to see the subscriber wall during the live show. Will kind we? of. Mm, kind I don't of. know if it'll go that far. We could turn the computer a little bit. We'll see. This tastes yummy. Right. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. We got a lot of work to do. Sean, come here. Come here. Mr. Sicky. Mr. Sicky, get over you. here. So next time, let's go. Hey,